Baruch HaMaboim B'Shem HaShem B'Shem Irgin Shir Tari I'd like to welcome everyone to today's Shia from Harav Yaakov Zav Smith on Dinei Tois B'Bracha Ebetfila Should I repeat the Bracha a, pra- a practical guide I have a great source of sponsoring a Shia called Irgin Shir Tari 718-851-8651 or email IST at yeshivanet.com Harav Smith Two and a half weeks ago someone told me he was davening in a shul and the by Mincha the Shtir Tziba said by Chiros HaShatz Baruch HaTashem HaMelech HaMishpat I woke everybody up. It wasn't a serious made tshuva, and they weren't sure what to do. It was ready achik they did, but he couldn't correct it. I remember the, a number of years ago we had the Shaila once, and it was mincha after Yom Kippur before Sukkot, and the Shlich Tzibah said Baruch Ata Hashem Hamelech Hakadosh, which is also common, especially after Yom Kippur. And this started me on a journey of many different Shailas that come up in different forms, a little much more common than these two. When someone makes a mistake in, in a bracha in Shemayin Esra, it's very common, Yom, Yom Tev Shechal B'Shabbos, he left out uh, Shabbos in the whole Shemayin Esra, he just said it at the end. Is that good enough? He left it out in the, the Shemayin Esra, he just put it in the end. I had a Shiloh once by the Seder night, someone said, Baruch Ata Hashem, Al-Kenem Al-Acha Olam, Al-Achil Matzah. <coughs> and left out, Asher Kedushanam Soyseh B'Tivanu. And as we'll see, Daily Shilas, Shabbos Shilas, Pesach, Sviri, Yom Tev, a whole host of Shilas, including Tusim and Brachais, Davening, and Mitzvahs. So we always try to find like one Yisoy that hopefully will give us the, enough information. The question I think is very simple. We know the Megillah has to have every word. If you miss even a word of the Megillah, you're not Yoitza. Does the same Klal apply to a Bracha? That if Chazal made this the Nusach, so you can't miss a word. Or maybe it's a little more liberal if you don't, if long as you said the main part of it is good enough. So Rabbi said we have to learn today a Mishnah. The Mishnah says that if you said shahakal on any food, you yoitza. In the Gemara, this is brachas daf mem amit bey, this is a machloikis. Avada, if you make a shakal instead of adama, you yoitza. The question is, if you made a shahakal on bread, are you yoitza? Rav Huna says, no, you're not yoitza. Rabbi Yochanan said, yes, if you made a shahakal on bread, you yoitza b'diyevet. Then the Gemara has an interesting suggestion. Maybe this machloik is amaroyim, about saying a shahakal on bread, is machloik is tanoyim. Now listen to this, even though it's not negei in this particular shayla, but it's the site of today. Let's say someone was creative, and on bread he made Kamenoa Pazu, Baruch HaMokim Shebaroa. So, Gemara and Baruch is that memo of base. Are you Yoitza with your original Nusach of the Baruch? So, Rabbi Yoisi said, no. You can't make such a Baruch, call him a Shana, me matbeya, shetavu chacham be Baruchis, lo Yoitza de Chayvosai. You can't make up your own Baruchis. Rabbi Meir holds you Yoitza. So the Mara says, oh, maybe the two machleikis are not totally zebazeb. If you can be yaitz with the bracha kamenor pazu, you can be yaitz with a shahakal. But we see, Rabbi Yisai, a, a klal. Kol ha-mishana mimad beish tavu chacham bebracha, you're not yaitz. Zog to Gemara, it's not necessarily true. But listen, because this is the Yisai of today. Maybe, if you said kamenor pazu, that's better than saying shahakal on bread. Why? At least you mentioned the word pas. Shahakal, you didn't mention pas. So it's too off track. Kamano pasu is not bad. Or maybe if I cared. If you said kamano pasu, although you mentioned pas, but that's your, your original bracha. You can't make up your own brachas. But if you said shahakal niyabitvaray, and that's a fully legitimate bracha, when it comes to a shahakal, Maybe it's good enough. So we see the following. There is a cloud called a Mishana, Mimat Be'er, Shatavacham, Abrachas, La But we see two possibilities. If it's close enough, he said the word pass, maybe you yitz with the Ebed. If you said a bracha that's acceptable in other places, you made a shackle on Hamoitzi, it's good enough. How do we paskin? So listen to the Rambam, please. The Rambam, Hilchas Brachas, Perik Aleph, Allah, Hey. First, he tells us what a bracha is. Don't play around with the bracha. Nusachal a bracha is Ezra Beisdin Aitiknum ve'ein roi l'shenoisam v'lay l'hoisiv v'lay l'gray menu. Klal number one is don't play around with the brachas. Chazal 
Ezra Saifa and his Bezdin said that, do the same. So first we see he paskins like this cloud. You can't change the bracha. But look at the look at the lashon. A very mild lashon. You're making a mistake. The ain royal So the Rambam is quoting this halacha. You can't change it. But in a very diluted form. So like every word in the Rambam, a lot was written. But what's negeya for us, there's a Kesef Mishnah, but I'm going to be Mekatsa. I'm going to read the Lashon of the Chayodam in Klal Heisiv Gimel, which is based on a Magan Avram and Kesef Mishnah. But I think it's the Yisai that we need. He says, don't touch the bracha. Say it like it says in the Siddur. Bidyeved. If you said Brich Rachman and Malka the Alma Mar the High Peter, as long as it's close enough, you yaitze b'diavet. He says the only the real problem is lo yoy mesheker. We'll soon see. You can't say a bar priates on a potato because that's sheker. But if you have it close enough, you're okay. But sheker is not acceptable. And number two, if there's supposed to be a psicha and a chsima and you left that one of the two. It's also not yaitz. But if it's close enough, you yaitz. So the Kesev, the, the Chayodim is explaining that we, we paskin on a shahakal on bread is good enough. Like Ramea. Brich Rachman and Malka Dayaum, you made your original Nusach, but it has the same idea, it's good enough. We paskin Kala Mishana, but it's usually good enough. What's the problem if you said Sheker? Now, before we apply this more specifically, there's one more prerequisite in the bracha, and that's the one bracha's mem amad beis, called bracha she'ein ba'askar shame. You have to have what's called shem u'malchus. Without that, they're not yaitza. And that's shulchan aruch reish yudalid, sif aleph. So you need the basic nusach with shem u'malchus. Now again, I want to be clear, you look at the Nefesh Achayim in Shar Beis, Perik Yud. He speaks about what a bracha is, what Shemayin Esther's bracha is. He said there was never a group of G'dayli Oilam like we have when they were Masakin Shemayin Esther. Anche Knesset G'dayla, 120 Zekainim, amongst them Nevi'im. My point is, let's not be original and change brachas. Ezra U Beis Dinoi were Masakin the brachas. Keep it as it is. But, the end of the day, if a person left out a few words or changed a few words, as long as he kept the, the standard Nusach with Shem Malchus, he's Yoyit Sebedi Now, I should mention the Kafachayim and Reishu Dalet Gimel quotes that Rizal that says, since every word is so important, even if you miss one word, you're not Yoyit I hope you don't pass him like that. Pais Mulan Paskin like that. But the point is, we're going to talk a lot about changing, but the right way to do it is, follow the Nusach. But B'dyeved, if you have the Psicha, the Chsima, and Shemu Malchus, you're Yoytze. Now let us apply this Lamaisa, and see, you'll see how much we get from a simple Yisoyed. If someone said an Eitz on a Hadama, on a melon, so that's a Mishnah. Brachis mem ame alef, shachnach reishva of alef, he's not yoitza. Why? It's sheker. A vegetable doesn't grow on a tree. Fakert, if he said hadoma, by mistake, on an apple, same mishnah, same shachnach yoitza. Ah, he was mishana, but it's not a terrible mistake. It's true, it's a briadoma. In other words, we do paskin kola mishana, but it's not like Megillah. Megillah, the wrong word, you're not yaitza. Missing a word, you're not yaitza. Here, you can make a dumb on an apple. Why? It's not a bad enough mistake to make it a sheker. This shayla is rather much more gay in our times. Many people today are gluten-free or celiac. And I'm told that the, the, the wheat-free rolls are, look exactly like the regular rolls. So the question is, when someone made a, he thought, he made a shahakal 
on a real bread. He didn't know. He thought it was a gluten-free roll. In his house, he has a child that's gluten-free. He saw this roll, thought it was gluten-free. He made a shakal on Abelmaisa, it was bread. A yaitza, when you made a shahakal on regular bread, that's a machloikis in the Gemara, and we tak a paskin, your yaitza. Let's say fakert, it was a gluten-free, a gluten-free product, and he made a moitzi. He's not yaitza. Why? Because that's sheker. It's not lechem. So this is in Shulchan Aruch, Shulchan Aruch Kof Samach Zayin, Sif Yud, you'll see it, that even if you made it, now here's a Chiddush, because you should have made the biggest brach HaMoyitzi, and you made a shackle. You took a, 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 you had a regular bread, and you made a shackle. The Teretz is, it's not Sheker. It was a real Shinoi, but it wasn't Sheker, and you Yoytza. Question that happens in different forms. On a Talis, Godel, he made Al Mitzvah Sitzis, or fakert, on a talus cotton, he was simished, he made lesatev. In other words, he made the wrong bracha on a beggar of Dalit Kanfois. So this, although it was a mashana, but it's still not sheker. And Mr. Bura in Simen Ches, Sif Cotton Tezayin says, Lamaisa, either mistake and either end, you would be yaitse bidiyevet. But let me tell you, let's not be too quick to say it's good enough. Listen to a shayla that could come up. A person daven shmein, daven shachris, baruch at Hashem, gal Yisrael, Hashem saw say tiftach. When he got to the bracha of goyal Yisrael, he was used to saying gal Yisrael, bekitza on the bracha, on that bracha, re'enu v'nyenu, he ended off baruch at Hashem, gal Yisrael. So this, we'll say, maybe it's not so bad. Because there is such a bracha, gal Yisrael. Before Shemayin Esra. And the Gemara says, once it's such a bracha, maybe a yaitzi b'dieved. However, I didn't find it in earlier Paiskim, but the Rivay Sephraim, in Chelek Hei, Simen Nun Aleph, he says that it's a mistake, it's a sheker. Because really, Goal Yisrael, before Shemayin Esra, is going on the Geula in Mitzrayim. Goyal Yisrael is a Lashen Hoi Van Asid on the, on the upcoming Geula. And the whole Nusach is a Brach and Lashen Hoive. So not only that you didn't say the, the intended Sima, but your Brach is inconsistent. Rev Yanyenu, Yvevenu, please be Goyalas, Brach Hashem, Gal Yisrael. He did it uh, in Mitzrayim. So this would be a shtickle of a Sheker, an inconsistency. So again, this is what I saw. If you found differently, please tell me. But here we see that it's not everything, not so quick to say it's good enough. Goal Yisrael is not Goel Yisrael. True story. Someone was davening Shemayin Esra. He's a chzor and he says, Baruch Ato Hashem, but Baruch Ato Hashem, Baruch Ato Hashem, Rofei Cholbasu Mafli Lasos. Now even those that were busy schmoozing woke up for this one. Rofei Choyle Ami, Rofei Cholbasu Mafli Lasos. So here we were tempted to say, it's not, you know, it's a very bad mistake. But at the end of the day, we have the Gemara Svar. Because the bracha roife cholbasu mafli lasois is a accepted nusach. That's what we would say. But hey, I saw Rabbi Shlaim Bezalman and Lech Shlaim Ahmed Kufbeis and quotes of the Rebbe Rabbi Yehudah Rabbi Yehudah Naipshitz, who has a question. Didn't discuss this shaila, but he has a question. Why taka the different nusach? Why a roife cholbasu mafli lasois and a roife cholbasu mafli lasois? So the Rabbi Yehudah said that it's two different concepts. Rofei Cholbas is going on the world, Goyim and Yidin alike. Rofei Choyle Ami Yisrael is a special brach of the Barsham heals Yidin. So if Shem Yisrael said, Oy Bazoi, if you said the wrong Nusach, it's Taka Sheker, or it's not what we wanted. You're supposed to speak about Klai Yisrael. And he quotes a second Svarah, or he quotes the Yaivitz, that every person... Chazal, Chazal tell us there's a time when the when the when the chayla comes, the chayli comes, and a time when the chayla goes, the machla goes away. But the Eden have the koyach of tefillah that can make it even before the time. So based on both svaris, Rabbi Shlomo Zalman says, if you said roif echol basu mafli lasa, he's not yotza. Again, it's a chiddush. It's not good enough. On the bottom, he says in a story. That the Rabbi Yonis and Ives was once approached by a guy and says, You Jews are very selfish, you daven only for yourself. 
So on the spot, Rabbi Yannis Naibsha said, I'll tell you the difference, you, you don't realize, we're not selfish. The Gemara tells us why is the bracha of Rafa'in, the eighth bracha, it corresponds to the meal that's in the eighth day. So we have a special bracha in our Shemayin Esra for those that underwent Mila. So the effort's right for Chayle Amma Yisrael. So the guy was happy, and when he went out, he says, that's not the only pshat. The right pshat is, there's a special siyayi tishmaya for Klal Yisrael. But be that as it may, we would have thought he's yoytza, but it's a big enough of a mistake that you're not yoytza. Okay, I'll tell you a common chup Shaila. Someone was given the bracha seis tosis, and he concluded, Baruch HaTah Hashem, Mesameya Chosen V'chala. So if you're not experienced, it sounds good, right? It sounds good, but it's not good. The last two brachas, Mesameya Chosen, Imakala, V'chala, whatever it is, but Sois Tosis is about the Chorban. And what's the correct, uh, what's the correct Sima? Mesameya Chosen V'vanel. So Rav Oznan, Chaylik Ches, Reish, Ayinei, says you mixed up two brachas, the wrong Chosimah. It's like a bracha without a Chosimah, and he was in Yoytza. The river is Ephraim, Chaylik Vav, Simen Tof, Lam, and Alev. He tells a story B'Shem, one of the Talmud Chom HaChashuv Meret Yisrael. He said he was davening Mila B'Mila with the Shatz, whatever reason, it doesn't say why, but he, he had to daven with the Shatz Mila B'Mila. So he was paying attention to what the Shatz said. And the Shatz said the following. He said, Hashiveinu avinu l'sarasecha, v'zorim baruch ato Hashem, chanun hamar b'lesloyach. He combined the two brachas, and he said there were 150 people, B'nai Torah there, and no one even realized. So he said he didn't know what to do, he's Milosh Manasseh, so he finished Manasseh, but the, chad, the shots finished in Taya Chadar Sashat, and it was an Avla, because he wasn't Yoytza, because he only said one bracha and he skipped one. And Allah has missed one, Shachan Aruch says, Kuf Vav Gimel, you're not Yoytza. So he completed Chadar Sashat and he had to start it again. Now, what I was wondering is, let's say he said Slach uh, afterwards. Was he Yoytza with Hashiveinu? Baruch HaTashem Chanam Abel So this Tamachachem didn't discuss that, but the Yemes, it's not so far off. Hashiveinu Chanam Abel But really, he should have said a Yoytza B'Shuvah. So that I, I didn't find before, but it could be that that mistake, had he said the bracha, the next bracha again, maybe it was okay. It's min yona, but it's not really the exact nusach. So, v'tzorachim. I heard the shayla in my own ears. By the seder, someone said, Baruch ato Hashem, elokeinu malach o'ilam, al achilas matzah. And they left out the words, asher kedishonu b'mitzvaysa v'tzivonu. So, when I heard that first, I said, the Yemma says, it doesn't sound right. Besides, they left that asher kedishonu, it sounds like a birchas hanenen. You're making a special bracha, on an eitz, hadama, and on an eating matzah, maybe you like the taste of it. Had you said Hashem Kishanim Shavu Zivano, you're giving direction. So I looked into what I couldn't find until I found the Piskei Chuvis in Simen Reish Yedalid Ha'orat Ten. He says La Eis At Alayim Matzasi. So he does his homework well. He didn't find it. I couldn't also either find it, but he does say an interesting point. He says the Ritva and Pesach and the Zayin Amit Bey says. Why did the Chazal require making a birchas a mitzvah? So you shouldn't jump into the mitzvah and do it without kavana. Asher kedishon the mitzvahs of tzivanu al achilas matzah. Ah, mechaya. I'm not eating a piece of bread. I'm doing the mitzvah the rice of matzah. So he says vibal. That's the integral part of the birchas a mitzvah. Could be if you didn't say it, you're not yoytza. Now the emphasis I would like to add to that. If you say shahakal on pass, you are yoytza. I, it's very off. Shachal is the lowest bracha, pass is the highest bracha. But at least you, you mentioned some shevach for this food. Here, you didn't mention any point of Asher Kachan Vesuzivanu. So although you said the word matzah, but you left out that nusach that you didn't compensate for. And plus, like we said, it could even sound like a Bech Hanenen. So, I can just say, Le'ez Atta, it seems to us that B'dyeved, even B'dyeved, you're not Yoytza. If someone finds an earlier source that you are Yoytza, I'd love to hear it, please tell me. Challenging question, beautiful question, I should say. Someone had a potato, Baruch HaTashem, Boirei Pri Ha'oretz. He didn't say Ha'etz, he didn't say Adama, he said Ha'oretz. So, at first glance, it sounds like a Mishana. 
But then again, wait a minute, it's not Sheke, the Chayra. The Oid, Hamoitzi Lechem and Aretz is good. But he made up his own bracha. So I found Aruch HaShulchan in Reish Gimel Sif Aleph. He says a Yisoid, that the word Aretz does not mean ground. Aretz means land. Eretz Mitzrayim, Eretz Yisrael. Hadama is like the Psukim, he quotes many Psukim. The Kisabe la Aretz, the Kachlam Reish Pik, called Pri Adama. Reish is Pri Adama. He says, it's two different words. Boire Priya Aretz, you're not Yoitza. It's like the, 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 the pre of the land. It's the country. It's supposed to be ground. That's what he wants to say. That's right, the good word country. Boire Priya Aretz, it's a bird from the country, which is not true. And therefore he says, you're not Yoitza. Now, Lamaisa, he doesn't bavar in this. But there's a big kasha on his shita. Hamoitzi lechem in Aretz, we do say. Hamoitzi lechem from the country. So the embassies, the, the nusuch, hamoitzi lechem in Aretz, I saw the, the Meiri and Brachis, the Avudraham and Ilchis, Birchis Alechem, both say it's based on a Pasuk and Tehillim, hamoitzi lechem in Aretz. So maybe you'll say, so maybe that's a Gzair Sakos, it has to be the, that nusuch. But it's not likely. Had the word Aretz mean, meant land, uh, country, how can you make such a nusach? True, it's based on a pasuk and tehillim. And the ma'aser is dechemes the merechas brachas aleph lamed hey. He says, based on our kesef mishnah, our magen avram, as long as it's not sheker, and and aretz is not sheker because we make the bracha ma'itz lechem and aretz, he's convinced you're not that you are yoitz. Now, and Chami will also be yaitzah. That certainly will be yaitzah. It can't be. It can't be wrong. But let me tell you something more beautiful. The betel achoch b'chelikay kuf chav dalid. He has a question, obvious question. You learn a mishnah, it should bother you. Al peris aretz oime bayer priadama. Why did he say peris aretz? Why not peris adama bayer priadama? So he says maybe it's to bavarn if you made this mistake. And you made a priya aretz yoyitza. In other words, from the Mishnah we see aretz and adam is interchangeable. So that would answer your question even more so. And the kafachaim and reish bei zayin says this as well. So I think we could either at least say this is a sophic brachas lahakel. You made bayer priya aretz. Thank you very much. Or a mighty lechem in hadama. Very good. In both it would be yoyitza. Listen to a, a fascinating shaila. Someone asked the night to be who then tanyana evanezer pay aleph. He learned the Gemara in Ksubis that there's a machloikis if you, the Birchas Eresen that the Masada Kedushin makes under the Chuppah, do you make a chsima to the Bracha? And other words, our meaning is, Baruch HaTzem, Kai Shalom, Kai Shalom, Kedushin, Chuddi, 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 But there's a sheet in, in the Gemara that you don't need a, a chsima. So he asked the Nair to be Yehuda, why is it a minig to make a chsima? What about Savak Baruchas Lahakal? You should leave out the chsima and not take a chance of making a chsima Shalai Litzayrach. So this is beautiful, vintage Naid Behudadik. He says, I don't get you. And the way, if you leave out, you any better? Because we said in the Gemara, that's our sugya, kol mashana means if he's supposed to make a psicha chsima and you don't make a chsima, you're not yoitzim. So if you don't make a chsima, it's also a suffolk brach, it's also not yoitzim. So then he writes with his beautiful Avas, Avas Yisrael, with his late toy, an ayin toy, he says, I know what we are coming from. Because you, you have a problem, Azoi. If you, if you make a chesima and you're not supposed to, so you made a chesima you're not supposed to, so you have two shameless levatala, the psicha and the chesima. Because if you made a chesima when you're not supposed to, you're not yoitza. If you only make it with a psicha without a chesima, it's only risking one shame shemaim levatala. So you see, I try to figure out this fellow. But at the end of the day, he says that Lamaisa, that's the minig, and we make a chsim. Now I know this particular shah is not Negei Lamaisa, that's our minig. But you see how our sug is all over? It affects the brachas, the standard bracha of Siddiq Kedusha. In Yonah, do you have a question? This week we started, I think, yeah, I think I'm sure. this week we're starting to tackle with the Arba Parshiois. And it's interesting, some shuls say Yoitzris whenever it's possible. In the Birchas Krishma, in Chedar Sashat, some never say it, some only say it by Kravitz on Purim. What's the story about the Yoitzris, Kravitz, Arvis is called, uh, if you add it to Mayrif. So, at the end of the day, it's a big sugya. 
But this is Mamash our sugya. Because the Machab and Simon Samach Hesif Aleph, some say it during Berchas Krishma, and others say it's a Hefsik. You're not allowed to add to a Bracha. It's Mamash our sugya. The Gro, in Bir Gro, and Maisaraf Kuf Samach Beis, and Sif Reishay did not say it because he held you being Moisif. It's Kala Mishana, a form of Kala Mishana. However, the Minig in many places to say it, as er, I found as early as the Tashbits that justifies the Minig. In Chayla Gimel Reish Mem Zayin, he basically says the same Yisoy that I re- read you earlier from the Chayodim. That Kala Mishana is not literal, any slight change. The Ikki is you can't change a Psicho or a or a significant change. But if you add or subtract a few words, it doesn't change the bracha and makes it a sheker, it's good enough. And he has two rayas. Listen to this. One raya is the Gemara says, you're allowed to add to the bracha Shemayin Esra. If a person is a chayla b'sayich b'sayi, he adds to refeinu. I, you're allowed to add, must be, if it's, that you're allowed to add, as long as it doesn't change it. And the second raya he brings, and I quote his Lashin, we do add yitzras, and there's no problem of shini hamadbeya. So the shaila of saying yitzras or not is: should we change the shmeinestra or maybe leave it as it is? If you want to see a beautiful discussion, the Meish of Dovlin and Tziv and Chelik Al of Simon Yud Gimel discusses the Minhagim, and he does give explain something I never knew that even though in most yeshivas there's ne- you never say yitzras. But I think in all the yeshivas, Purim, Kravitz, you do say. So that was the meaning in Velazhin. Why Purim is different? He says, because Pesum Nisa. So although we don't say Yoytris typically in Betala Parshi, it's about throughout the year, but by Yoytris, by Purim, that's, the, that's considered Pesum Nisa, and it is said. Ma'isa Shehoya, someone said, Baruch Ato Hashem, Elokeinu Melech Oilam, Yoytza Ma'oyres. That was Punkta Shaila. But Bikits he added Malchus to a bracha doesn't need Malchus. Was he Yaitza? Is that Kala Mishana? So the Emes is, he did change the Nusach. But what's wrong with adding Elokeinu Melech Ha'olam? And Taka Deshevet Akasi in Chelekei Memvav, he proves this. As long as it's not a significant enough change, in other words, Kala Mishana is not literal. It's not like Megillah, that if you add a word or subtract a word, you're not Yaitza. As long as it doesn't make an, a big impact on the, on the structure of the Bracha, but the Yavari would be Yaitza. And his, the, his source is our Mogan Avram, our, our Chayod. The next group of questions is when a person left out a word. And this is very Negea, when a person is listening to a mitzvah, the marshal, like the most common marshal, I'm in a camp, in a yeshiva, they're making avdallah, and someone's listening to the mavdil, but he's busy getting the, the, the eish, to be able to see the eish, and he misses the word baruch of the last bracha, amavdim ha'kadosh l'chol. Or he missed the word atol, Hashem. Either you didn't say a word, but more commonly, when you're being yaitz shemei ka'ina, he missed the word, someone sneezed, and he missed the atol. So one thing is clear, shulchan aruch, in the end of reish at gimel, if you want to be yaitz with Shemei Ka'oina, it has to have to every word as if you're saying the brach. So there's no special Allah, Shemei Ka'oina, Ruba Kakula. If you have to say the word, you have to hear the word. Now the question is, which words are ma'akiv and which are not? So, Lamaisa, the Mishtabura, is very clear in the end of Reish Yud Gimel. If you miss the word Baruch, he's not yaitz. Even though he heard the rest of the, the, the Havdalah. Baruch is an integral part of the bracha, even bidiyevet. So if someone didn't hear the word Baruch of the bracha Mavdal and heard the rest of Avdalah, he wasn't Yaitza. And that's why it's a mitzvah lefarsim. When, we, when we're trying to get the psamim or trying to get the ner, when the Mavdal continues the bracha of a Mavdal, stop instantly. That's the most important. The, the, the ner is not makiv, the, the psam is not makiv, the ik is the Avdalah. The next shayla is if you missed the word Atah. So the Mr. Buren Reish Yudalit Gimel says Atah is not Ma'akiv. The Makar is a Divri Hamudais in Brach, in Sech the Brach is Perites, Simon Zayin. And I think it's a beautiful Svar. Because Be'emes, did you ever wonder when a person with even a little bit of Heretz talks to a Rav, a Rosh Hashiva, a Rebbe, you don't say you. 
the Rav, the Rebbe, the Rosh Hashiva. Why by Bari Yolam, a hundred times a day, Baruch Atta, first person? So it's not so Pashit. The Medjish and Tilman, the Pasuk, Shivisi Hashem Lenegdi Samid, quotes the sheet of Shmuel, that you don't say Baruch Atta. Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem, Olekeinu Melech Oilam. Where's the Derech Eretz? Rav says, we do say Baruch Atta. Why? Based on the Pasuk, Shivisi Hashem Lenegdi Samid. What's the Hezbah? I think it's Pashit. The Barstam says, I don't need formalities. I don't need the, the Derech Eretz. I want you to realize a hundred times a day, you're talking to me. You know, if I would ask you, when was the last time you spoke to the Rebbein Shlel? You'll say, me? I'm not a Navi. But one second, you daven Shachas, right? You said, Baruch Sashacha. Baruch Atta. A hundred times, Baruch Atta. Chavetz Chaim once said, the Taich of the word Baruch, Vesach Nisht. Baruch is Gebenj, Baruch is Brecha. The Taich of Atta, I know what it means. You. <laughs> You, Kapshutai. Kashiyadabe ish el reyeyu. So the Barsha, I'd rather, you, I'd rather you have that feeling. So the word ato is not even so posh, you're supposed to say it. Shmuel says you can't say it. Rav says it's a good idea. But it's hard, we can't say it's ma'akiv. So that's why I think the word baruch is ma'akiv. Ato is not ma'akiv. The next is shame Hashem. That's a Gemara. The Gemara says, if you don't say Shem Hashem, Baruch Hashem Hashem, is not, you're not Yoytza. The question is, do you have to have both Shemes? Some of the person missed Elekeinu. Or he missed Hashem, but he heard Elekeinu. So Mr. Buran raised you down, let's see if Cotton Gimel. He says, if you miss the Shem in Gansin, you're not Yoytza. But if you heard Askara Achas, any Askara, Sharetzin says, even if he heard a different Askara, Someone said Shakai or, or Likim. Any shame Hashem, but the Ebed is Yoitzah. Probably he learned the Lashon Yimar called Baruch Hashem Bashem, Lashon Yachid. However, the Minchas Pitim, Armei Arik, and Archaim Simeresha Dalid, he says, You're right. If you only heard, said one shame or heard one shame, you Yoitzah. But it has to be Adnos. That's Makiv. If you heard Alekainu without Adnos, he's not Yoitzah. The it's interesting Rav Moshe in Chaylik Dalid, it's the end of Simon Mem, does not quote Rav Moshe, does not quote Mr. Bura. And he also says the same like a Mayarik. You have to have one Shem, but it has to be Adnus. The Betzela Chochma quotes the Menchas Pitim, but he says, Lav Dafka. Any Shem, if you didn't say Hashem, Aleikeinu is also good. So here you have a pretty sh- a tough shot to call. Mr. Bura says any Shem is good, like the Psyel HaChochma, Rav Moshe, may I recall, you have to have Adnus. So probably, like everything else, when you have a legitimate Suffolk, Bidyevet, you could say Suffolk Baruch is Lahakal. Maisa Shehoya, someone had what he thought was a Suffolk Baruch. So he says, I'm not going to make a new Baruch. But you know what I'll do? Just to be safe, I'll say it Baruch Ato Hashem, like I say it now, Aleikeinu. And he said the bracha without Shem Malchus, but he said Hashem Aleikeinu, those words. Then the, the Rav says, you have no suffolk. You have to make, you weren't yoitz with the first bracha. So now we have a new shayla. Maybe the fact that he said afterwards, Baruch Ato Hashem Aleikeinu, and the whole Nusach, maybe but the evidence is yoitz with that. But he's wrong, you're not. Hashem Aleikeinu is not a Nusach. It's not Shem Hashem. It's not even one of the Shemas. So here we are, you look at the Mr. raised your test, you've caught in your chest. He says, if he didn't say any shame, the fact he said ha shame is not enough. A person said shem, elekeinu, but he left out malchus. So, Pasha, this is a Gemara. Bracha shame malchus, ain't a brach. The Allah is an Aleph Reish, Samaches, as a Chiddush Pella, that if he said ha shem elekeinu, the elekeinu could be bimokim malchus. And he says that Mamash and half a line, Malchus he Kamoishma Yisrael. You know what he means to say, I think? The ultimate Malchus Shemayim is Shema Yisrael. And where's the, where's the Melech? So he holds Elokeinu was good enough. But no other place can quote this, and I think it's not ungenomen at all, because Malchus has to be mentioned. So if he said, Barachat Hashem, Elokeinu, Shahakal Niyah Bedvaray, he would not be Yoitz. A tricky question is, if he said, Baruch Atah Hashem, Aleikeinu, Melech, left out of Olam, Shehakel Nibet So, 
the Evan Oizer, now Evan Oizer rather was, was nifter five years before the Goyen was born. That goes back a few hundred years ago. So he has a pretty long stickle in Simeratia Dalit, and he proves very, con very convincingly that the word Melech is Lav Dafka Ha'oilam. He, he brings from Davening and Yom Neroyim countless rayas that Truas Melech boy, uh, Hashem Melech, uh, Geus Love, uh, many, many rayas that Melech is Lav Dafka Ha'oilam. So he says, he believes if you said Melech without a Ha'oilam, you're Yaitzeh B'Dievet. Now, the big problem which he himself alludes to, Toisvis, Brach is Tav Memamad Beis, on the Gemara, so you have to have Malchus, Toi says, if you left out the word Ha'oilam, you're not Yoitza. Because you have to say Melech Ha'oilam. And the Mechaba, by us, quotes the Lashon of Toi's is verbatim. So here you have a tricky suffix. Toisvis, Shachnarch, is clearly not Yoitza. He has a good Svarah that you are Yoitza. Zakti Bialacha, on our Mechaba, that Lamaisa, you can't be saying Mechamis. You can't argue on a Toysis on a Mechaba. He says, I, this is Yushalmi, I, on the Pasuk, I remember Lakaya Melech, that you Yoitsu with that. Zakti Bialacha, on Avo Yusayit. If you say Ha Melech with a Hey, with Hey Yediyah, that might be good enough without the word Ha'olam. But Sta Melech, you cannot go with a Evan Oiza. If the Toysis and Shachnarach says differently. So let's just chazer over. Baruch is ma'akiv. Ato is not ma'akiv. Hashem alekeinu, one of the two is enough. Melech ha'olam is needed unless you said ha'melech. Now if so... The Kainu considered Malchus by Shomer. Oh yeah, but, but again, not ha'olam. Yeah, but, yeah, but you're not supplementing, you're right, but you're not supplementing the word ha'olam. Now... If you someone someone either someone was listening to Havdalah Lamashal and he missed the word, or he missed Hashem, so it's, it's not yet lost. What he could do is quickly add it. You'll add a supplement to someone else's Havdalah, like we do by Megillah. But don't miss the next word. You're gonna you missed Hashem, so Hashem they missed like So do it in a way that you didn't you don't end up missing. A question that comes up an irreligious person that wants to daven bench. And he cannot read he, Lashon Kaidish. So the Pais can say, you'll have to say a bracha in English. Or any Lashon that he understands. The problem is, what do you do with Shem Hashem? So the Rav Sternbach and the Chu was Chelik Alf, Shin Nun Hei. He says, you can't be Yaitza by saying Hashem. Hey, like I said. And you can't be Yaitza by saying Lord. Lord is not the Shem Hashem. It's a description. So he suggests, you could say Taka the bracha in English. But at least say Hashem Eloikeinu. In Lashon Kaidish. Then you could say, King of the world, Melech Oilam. Now, it's interesting, the art scroll teaches Hashem, in English, Hashem. But in the beginning, they have a disclaimer that when, if you want to be Yoitza by saying the bracha in English, you, have, you can't use the word Hashem. Because Hashem is, is just a, a way of avoiding saying Shem Hashem. And even Lord, it's also no good. Lord is a description, like Bashefa. So you would have to say either. Hashem Alekeinu, or G-O-D, which is Hashem Etzem of HaKadosh Baruch Interesting question. A person, Taka, that had a, a long bracha, let's say benching, or another example might be Tfilas Haderech, or some bracha, that are a longer bracha, and he said the Psicha and the Chsima perfectly. But he left out a few words in the middle. So this is the Chiddush, that we saw from the case of Mishnah, Chayodah, Magen Avram, Mishnah Bura said in Simon Samaches, as long as he didn't tamper with the thrust of the bracha, there's a psicha, there's a chsima, but the ever he would be yoitz. In fact, the Shevekasi, Chelik Beis, Peizayin says, if someone does not know the Nusuch, the Moshul of Tfil Saderach, so he tries the best he could, he knows there's a Yeratzayin and the Baruch HaTash Tfilah, and in the middle he said whatever he remembered. He could do that. Even if you leave out a word or two, or a concept or two, as long as he has the main part of it, he would be Yoitza. Rav Ozna has a very painful shayla in a tshuva, where someone has a certain machlet, he skips words. When he talks, he skips words. Can he be allowed to say a bracha? Because he might end up skipping integral words. So he says, first of all, if he skips the middle of the, of the, of the bracha, we have a tashbitz that I mentioned earlier, as long as he didn't change the thrust of the bracha. 
And he said also, Chazal, what was what Masak and Havinenu, even though it's very little of the original bracha, and maybe could be yaitz with the hearer, and he ends off, but you see his motivation, the whole tshuva, it's a mitzvah to find schus for a tamat chacham. In other words, let him say the bracha and hope for the best. But you see how much we're using this simple chiddush that kala mishana is not literally. As long as you get the ikka part of the bracha, you're okay. The next group of questions is when someone said the wrong bracha, which is ma'akiv, and he changed it to echadei dibur. So this we know is a sugi and brachis, the mechab and reish tesi beis. He picked up a piece of uh, potato and said, Bayer priya eitz. And to echadei dibur, he said, Bayer priya dama. So mechab says, yoytza. Why you yoytza? Because you got it straight at the end. Now the question is, let's look at his bracha. Baruch Atu Hashem, Elkeinu Melech HaOlam, Baruch Priyayit, which is wrong, which is Sheker, Baruch Priyadama. So you end the you added the right Nusach, but you said Sheker, why isn't it a Hefzik? So the simple Teretz will say, that's the mechanics of Teuch Dibur. You replaced the wrong Bracha. So as if you were able to erase it. But that's a Chiddush. If I said, Baruch Atu Hashem, Elkeinu Melech HaOlam, Hello Yasi, Baruch Priyadama. Is that good? Did the Bar Adama erase Hello Yasi? Or not? So how did Bar Pri Adama erase Bar Pri H? Why is it a Hefsik? So the simple terrorist is, I was trying to say the right bracha, so it's Minyana. But Hello Yasi is a Hefsik, right? But I'll tell you a better terrorist. That the Rishayim say. Gedoyle Rishayim. Zok the Ramban in Lechemis, on that sugim, brachas of Yud Beis, who said it's a Hefsik? Let's, he's, he's talking about, he said, and then realize it's only soda. So what's wrong with saying It's true. The Barashtam creates Gofen and creates Shackle. I didn't say this is Gofen. I said the Barashtam creates Gofen and Shackle. So he's learning the whole thing is not a problem because it's, it's as Lashen is, So we have two Svaras why changing to Echidiba works. Here, we'll come to the next question. Let's say he said a shahakal on a grape drink. Okay? And then, he said shahakal, and he thought that it's grape wine. So he quickly corrected it, by priyagafen. And he tasted it, sunishgut. It was shahakal. So now he has the right bracha, shahakim bevarei, and he added by priyagafen. What do you do with that? Was he oikarit? He shouldn't have been. Does the Baruch Shalom get kind and says, you know, keep your mistakes, I'll take your... So the Tila David in Reish Tess, Sif Katnal, says, I can't understand this, that this should work? Because it's a hefsik, but the Rishayim say it works. Zok de Meiri in Brachas, Daf Yud Bey, is the same, the same Gemara. He says, what's wrong? You didn't say this is Gafen, and he says you're trying to praise Hashem, even though you added the wrong thing afterwards, but it doesn't make the whole bracha apostle. And his svara is like gvil turi. You try to make it better. No, so nishkel hungin. But if you think about it, it's very similar to the Rambanzi side. What's wrong with saying shehakali bevarei and bari priyagafen? Now, today I'm having a grape soda. Tomorrow I'm going to make kiddush, I'm making bari priyagafen. What's wrong if I said it here? So we have two svaras that when it's Makes sense, it's not Sheker, even though it's Mishana, he would be Yitz. Now, when you add it, hello Yossi, that's Tam, has no Shaykhs, and that's no good. Oh. Now, I'm going to ask you a tricky question. Someone washed for bread, made the Baruch Nusadayim, and Baruch Hashem Gel and he's so used to making the Sadayim, he made a second at the which happens. But he quickly changed it, Tarkhadi Dibur, Hamoitzi Lechem Mina Oretz. And he looks at you, now what? How would you answer? So someone told me, well, it's no good because he said, Asher, Kedeshanam, Soyseb, Tzivanu, four words, and then Antis Yadayim, seven words, and he replaced it only with Hamoyt Silech and Mina Oretz. But that's, that's wrong. What's wrong with that? <laughs> it's not like Ayin Tachas Ayin, you have to have word for word. The, 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 the mechanics of Toych is you could replace this for that. So if this has seven words, this has four words, there's nothing wrong. But the problem is, the, it's a birchas hamitzvahs, and it doesn't flow. Asher k'tam zivanu zadayim, mitzlechem and aretz, like like 
Gofen and I know and and Shahako. So I saw in the the Sefer Libun Habracha. He says, but if you understand that Toyoch Lidibar gives you the right of to replace it. So what's wrong with what you said earlier? In other words, this is a little worse than the previous case, but it's still a replacement. So he says, Lamaisa, it's page 119, that Lamaisa, you could be Yaitza as long as you corrected it, Deeper. And as far as it really is, we don't find anybody saying this differently. And if you learn that it's a replacement, so what's wrong? Okay, question will soon be Negeya. It's, he said the Svira, the Bracha, and Svira of the fifth day. It really was the fourth day. So, Lamaisa, he found, realized, and changed it to, from fifth to fourth. Was he Yaitza? Is the Bracha Bracha Levatala? So, this is not like Gofen, Shahakal, that you could say it's all true. It's the, it's the fourth, not the fifth day. Fifth is wrong. Maybe that would passel the Bracha and require a new Bracha. But it can't be. Mr. Burra says in Tav Pei Tess, Sif Katan Lamed Beis, if he changed to Yechli Dib, he's okay. Must be like we said, replacing works unconditionally. In other words, by, if you said for the wrong Bracha and replace, you have two svaras why it's good. Number one, it's not Sheker. And number two, replacing. But even without that, it's at least a Bracha that you change the Torah today deeper. The Chiddush Godel is the Rav in Tav Pei Tess, Siv Chav Beis, his Chiddush is, he puts it in parentheses, I must tell you, that even, even if you change it, dibur, it's okay. Because he's, he's being oisik in, in the mitzvah. Now that's a Chiddush that Mr. Burr does not quote. In fact, the, the Rav himself puts it in parentheses. So that's a Tzorachi and God, we've got to be saying on that. But no doubt about it, if he changed Torah Chidei Dibur, Avad and Avadar, he would be Yoytze. Another important, the mitzvah of Farsim, because I see this quite often. I'll give you a, a t standard example. Someone's making Avdallah, and as a mistake, he made the bracha of Mo'ari Eish before Bari Menei Psamim. So what is an Erel Chayit that knows, he wants to do the right thing, he goes, oh, it's the wrong Seder. <clears throat> so Torah Chidei Dibur, he corrected it, Bari Menei Psamim. So he made Baruch Atah Hashem Gavim Chalam, Bari Menei Eish, Bari Menei Psamim. That's a mistake. He did the wrong thing. Why? So this is a sugya for itself. I can't even get into it now. But in Reish Tess Sif Aleph, the Mechaber brings a Rambam. The Rambam Shita, which is a big Chiddush, the Rambam holds, the bracha is chal when you said the Shem Hashem. If you said, Baruch Atah Hashem, Kelem Echoylam, I'll ask to say, Hadama. And at the end he said, Eitz by mistake, he's Yoitzah. As long as you said the B'Shem Hashem with the right Kavana, the Yoytza. Moses is the Rambam. If he said the wrong Bracha and corrected it, it wouldn't help. If he said the Shem Hashem thinking of the wrong Bracha, then it remains wrong. The Bracha is Nikva is Chal by the Shem Hashem. The, the other place can argue. The Mechaba brings both Shittas. We do, we are Mekel and we're not Chayish for the Rambam. But says the Mishtabura, when the bracha doesn't need correction, it just you want to make it more of an orderly fashion, don't change it. Because like the Rambam, you're messing up the bracha. Says the Mishtabura, or more so, like the Rambam, you're only Yaitza with Maria Eish. And you added Barim Bazam, it's not going to help. Because the bracha was chal by the beginning. So what's my point? When you said the wrong bracha, you made a bar priate on a potato. So you have no choice. You have to change it, or else it's bracha batala. Then change it and rely on other shittas. But when you said the bracha that's right, just you want to change it because you want to keep the order, don't mess with success. So don't change mo'er Aish. If he said birchas hashachah, the wrong bracha, don't change it. And the third, if you made a shahakal on a, a, a drink, and you have, oh yeah, I didn't make a mazayinus first. Don't quickly change it to Mezayinah so you have the order of brachas, because according to the Rambam, you're doing a disservice. So all these three cases, Mr. Bruin, Reish, Tess, Sif, Katan, Vav says, if you don't need to change it, don't change it. Interesting question. Someone said the wrong bracha. He corrected it with another wrong bracha. But the third, the third try, he got it right. 
So he has wrong bracha, second wrong bracha, and third bracha was right terchadiba. One was terchadiba, the other. How would, you, how would you deal with that? So it sounds intimidating, but it's not. So I saw the say for Liban Abracha, he says very correctly, what's the problem? The, the, the second one was Oike the first one, right? Now the second one's the problem. So the third, the real bracha was Oike the second one. So what's wrong? You don't have to Oike with the third one of all the mistakes. As long as you're one ahead, you're okay. How much is Toichide Dibor? So the Mishnah Brewer in, uh, I found three different places, who says, Beferish Toichide Dibor is three words, not four words. When do you start counting Toichide Dibor? Let's say you said, Boyer Priya Eitz. Do you start counting Toichide Dibor when you finish the word Eitz? Or when you said the last correct word? So, Yibay Yisayim Svar, Yibay Yisayim Hechrach. Svar is Pashit. The, the problem is, you have to change it before it's Chal. When is it Chal? Three words after you said the mistake. So why should it be Tully when you said the last right word? You said the wrong, Bar it's true. So within three words, you could correct it. So it's Tully from the last, when you said the last wrong word. If you're going to say it's Tully when the last right word, so you might never change. Can, because always a bracha is not, not less than three words. So the three words, the, the Torah is when you finished the last wrong word. Someone, the Shmir Shabbos in Memzai and Kufsar Akei quotes of Shleim Zalman. Someone said the wrong bracha, wasn't sure what to do, so it was Torah bracha, he was thinking what to do. Is that enough to say that he could change it because it's still Torah Chedei Dibor? Because it's Minyana de bracha. He says nothing doing. The, the, the point of Echadibur is, if the bracha was chal, you can't change it. So who cares if you, you did a minyana? Another big sugi I want to mention, just to make the point, Yom Tev Shechal B'Shabbos is tricky, because the Shemayin Esra has to have a Yom Tev Nusach, but add Shabbos throughout. It's very common people forgot to mention Shabbos until the Chesimah. They, oh, Baruch HaTashem, B'Kadosh HaShabbos, Yisrael V'Azmanim. Is that good enough? He's supposed to say Shabbos, I'm getting to the end. He only mentioned by the Chesimah. So this is a huge machlaikis, and don't make mistakes, it's not Kedai. But Lemaisa, the Mishtebura, the Rab, the Chayodam, the Bialocha says this, I saw Rebbe Kanyevsky says this at the end. At the end of the day, we talk about a Suffolk Brachas of a Gantzman Esra. So some hold, as long as there was a good Chesimah, and there was no Sheker in the Psicha, but the ever that's good. So very, very bidiyevedik, if you left out Shabbos or Yom Tov, whatever the case is, and only said in the Psicha or the Chesima, or in Alamichia, you both say Alamichia and Alagefen, you left out the Alagefen until the very end, bidiyeved, bidiyeved, you would be Yitzhak. And Achra and Chaviv, listen to a beautiful Shaila. We began with this. Someone on a random, it happened Tuesday, rather, almost three weeks ago, some by Mincha said, Baruch Ata Hashem, HaMelech HaMishpat. People know what to do. A yoitza during the year, melech hamishpat. So, if it's ma'akev, he has to repeat the whole bracha. If he finished shmanes and he said it's ma'akev, he'd have to say the whole shmanes again. So it came to my mind. I remember, like yesterday, had parsha Sazinu, tafshin samach aleph, or Pam's house, Shabbos mincha in between Yom Kippur and Sukkis. There was a Shabbos in between. The b'shtir tziba by mincha Shabbos said baruch atah Hashem hamelech hakadosh. So we have. Shtaim Shiyachas, if he said Amelech HaKadosh or Amelech HaMishpat during the rest of the year, are you So in, in first, at first glance, we would say, Lamaisa, there's such a Nusach. Amelech HaKadosh is good for 10 days a year. Amelech HaMishpat is good for 10 days a year. And also, it's not so different. So maybe Taka, it's okay. It's like a Shahakal on bread. Lamaisa, Apisvara, it makes sense, it's close enough. Yeah. What bothered me is, if you both say, Melech Oyhev Tzedaku Mishpat, and always says, Melech HaMishpat, you left out two pretty important words, Oyhev Tzedaku. So I tried to look into this. So regarding the Shail of Melech HaMishpat, I found the Mati Yehudas in Tovkov Pei Beis, the Prichodesh there, the Pischei Tshuven, Kuf Bayosku and Kuf Yodalet, Chayodam, the Kitzah Kafachayim, all say, if he said HaMelech HaMishpat during the year, that happened two and a half weeks ago, he's Yoitzah. 
And the Mishtabur and Kuf Yud Ches, if cut in Aleph, quotes this Lalach. So our Shaila, I'm quite comfortable to say that you would be Yitz. Now I did see the Machzik Bracha, the Chido, in Kuf Pei Bei, Tav Kuf Pei Bei's quotes Rama, the Rama that says you're not Yitz because you, did, you changed the Nusach. But enough Paiskim hold, Hamelech Hamishpat is good. Okay, fine. I'm sorry, yeah, your Melech is good, 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 fine. Now, what's interesting is, no one speaks about Hamelech HaKadosh. The Mishnah doesn't mention it. In fact, some Pais can put the two together. Hamelech HaMish, Melech HaKadosh. The Mishnah in Kuf Yud Ches, if you said Hamelech HaMish, but you yoytza, and left at Hamelech HaKadosh. I was wondering why. So I looked into this. The Archashoch in Kuf Yud Dal, Sif Yud Aleph, has this Shaila. And he says, if you say a melech hakadosh, could be an ayyotzer because it's sheker. Because the melech is only like the Mora says in brachis, aseris made tshuva. The baruch is sitting al kisei mishpat, but not the rest of the year. So he says, if Chazal made only the aseris made tshuva, melech hakadosh, because then the baruch is sitting on al kisei mishpat, not the rest of the year. Then in kuf yud ches beis, he has more of a suffix. He says maybe tak it is good with the eved lemaisa. It's not Sheker, but Tzorach Ian. Then I saw a fascinating story in the Sefer Mer Eni Yisrael Chayel Dal, page 259. The Chavetz Chaim himself, the Helik Chavetz Chaim, but Soyim Kippai Mayriv, said, HaMelech HaKadosh. And he decided to finish, but he was Ois Mensch. He has to find this Mepheirish. He would not make Havdol, even though it was in his last years, he was elderly and he was fasting, until he finds Beferish. And he could not find it in Mishtabur any place that is Yaitza. And he was very, very upset. I wrote a safe for Klai Yisrael and I failed. This child is so Negeya and it didn't say, I didn't write it any place. So the family were beside himself, he's not going to eat. So someone found a reference, a remez, in, in the Bialacha, Tov Pei Zayin, that you are Yaitza. So he decided he's going to make Avdol and eat, but he was very upset he didn't write it Beferish. Now, if I would have been there, I would have said, he did write it Beferish. Because Maduch Melech Oyev Tzedakah U Mishpat, that he left out two key words. He writes Beferish Yoytza. So Melech HaKadosh, how could it be worse? I don't believe it could be worse. I think it's even better. Now, the only shout is, why, didn't, why did he dafka leave out HaKel Melech HaKadosh? When he's when Melech Oyev Tzedakah and Mishpat, Teres is Pashit. Because that bracha was hashiv, what was that hashivenu? But Reiz Apella, you know, this you'll enjoy. The Tveres Shmuel, the Taisus Yomtiv on the Rosh Bracha is the end of Perik Aleph. He writes matter of factly that he quote he saw an, an old Machzorim, the Maharam Rutenberg had a minig on a Shana Rabba. He said Hamelech Hakadosh, Hamelech Hamishpat, and Zochreinu, and all the Hisaf like you do on Yomim Neroyim. So he says, Oy bazoy, if the rest of the year, listen to this, you say Hamelech HaKadosh or Hamelech HaMishpat, you yoytza. Because if you could say it on a Shana Rabbah, it's not really a Chiyav, must be it's not Ma'akiv. Why is it not Ma'akiv? Because 10 days a year we do say it. And he throws in for good measure, the Baruch not a Melech the rest of the year, Melech Oyhev Tzedakah Mishpat. So what do we have? We have Tver Shmuel, a derech hachaim, the nesiva says beferish that you yoytza. Chay adam kitza mati Yehuda shari tshuva. Dor chashuchan has a sophic about a melech hakadosh. Rav Moshe in Shmaitza the Moshe tough kuf pei beis in the back shmuas. It's not Rav Moshe wrote. It's Mpia Shmuas so or whatever it's worth. Rav Moshe said if you say a melech hakadosh you're not yoytza because the word hakel hakadosh is based on the pasuk in Tanakh. Hakel Hakadosh Nigdash Bitsidaka, and that's considered a significant that Avshin in that Yoytza. Now, Ramayisha there is quoted saying the Rachashochan is not right; it's not Sheker, but a but a bracha that's based on a pasuk you can't tamper with. Now, Lamaisa, the, the person that quoted says, "Who said that that bracha is based on a pasuk?" So, what do we have halacha Lamaisa regarding Hamelach Hamishpat to us as a Chiddush? But most Paiskim are Bafurish. With the Mishnah Bura, Hamelech HaMishpat is good. Now, as we left out Oyev Tzedaka, that's fine. Hamelech HaKadosh, the Chashulchan has a Tzorachian, Ramayisha Otinah Yoytza. Both Paiskim, most Paiskim, all you are Yoytza. 
So Maisa, with the Ebra Vadi Biyaitza, got them talk to you all. So I'm made a commission Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right, you're right, absolutely. I, I think. Regardless of the Papatschai. Shame here can share. Tell I give a bigger character of Smith for today's share. And I'm going to cash him out to get his book of Zaka says to tell you him on time, Mr. Shinema, the Noy Hoffes, the man, Sidka Yagdol Terviade. So I call Moedim that the shear has to be repeated <laughs> through the Sikkim. So the bracha right on the shear. Okay, just the chazal we learned today. Each word of davening brachas are extremely important. That's that's the klal aleph, Ezra bezdina, the anshin yaseh gedoyla, 120 gedoylem neviim. But lemaisa lalocha b'dieved, it's not like Megill that every word is ma'akev. Basically, you need a psicha and a chesima when applicable, shem and malchus, and it can't be sheker. Kala Mishana is not literally any change, like by Megillah. It's limited. Psich, Achsim, Hashem, Amalchus, and it can't be Sheker. So Eitz on Adama, you're not Yoytzi, even with the Eved, because it's Sheker. Adama on Eitz is okay with the Eved. Hamoytzi on a gluten-free roll is a Sheker. Shehakal on Pas is good enough. The wrong bracha on Talis, Cotton, or Talis, Godel, Asatev, or Almitzah, is both are okay. Ga'al, instead of Goyal and Shmaynesra, Lechayre, he would not be Yoytza. Reifei Chalbasa, Mafilas, instead of Reifei Chalam Yisrael, he's not Yoytza. Sois tosses and ended, Mesamea Chosen, in Makala or Vachala, he's not Yoytza. He left out Asher, Kishanam, Sois, Vizivanu, Lechayre, he's not Yoytza. If someone knows differently, please tell me. Priya Eitz, instead of Priya Oretz, instead of Boire, Pri Hadama, he would be Yoytza. And talk like this, he'd mentioned, Hamaitza Lechem and Hadama should also be Yoytza. Most hold that Priya Aritz is okay. A, chas, a, a, a chasima is, is definitely needed by Berchas Erison, because that's the Minig Yisrael, and because otherwise it's without a chasima is also no good. The Minig of Yaitz each follow their own Minig, but definitely there's no problem of Hefsik. The If a person did not added Malchus when it's not supposed to be there, it's hard to say he's not, it's not Yaitz, it's not a a, it's not a toy, it's not a sheker. A person missed or didn't hear any of the important words, Baruch, Hashem, or Lekeinu, or Melech Oilam, he could add it on his own. If he didn't hear it, add it, but to make sure you don't miss any other words, Baruch is ma'akav, to isn't. Hashem or Lekeinu, either one is enough. Melech Oilam, the word Oilam is ma'akav, unless he said, Ha Oilam, the irreligious person that has to make a bracha, he could say it in English or Russian, whatever it may be, but make sure to have a valid shame, Hashem. If Lamaisa, a person, wants to correct himself, or three words, he could correct any wrong, even he said, until he died, he said the wrong sphere, anything as long as it's not just correcting, it's replacing, we had, or as we said, it's true, both are true, but basically, we sphere also you could correct even though it's wrong. But only change if you have to. To change it for a, to have the right order is wrong because like the Rambam, you can't change. If you made two mistakes, as long as one was Tayyachidib or the other one, he could correct it. And as we said, you count Tayyachidib before you finish the wrong words. If he paused to think what to do, he lost the Tayyachidib time span. If a, a person made left out the whole Shabbos until the very end. He threw them by the Chesimah. But the Yevid, but the Yevid is Yoytza. 
And if he said a Melech HaMishpat or a Melech HaKadosh during the rest of the year, with the Eved he would be Yitzah.